In this lesson, we'll review a short dual reading passage question. This is part of the critical reading section. We're on page 781, question 9. Keep in mind, there will always be just one set of dual passages on the whole test for questions. And a good technique before answering the questions, we've got passage 1 and 2, and we know these are on the same subject because if you read, you'll see it's the same content. But also, the questions will often ask to compare and contrast passage 1 and 2. So there's just one of these on the whole test. But the technique that I want you to try to follow is first come up with the subject. The subject is going to be the same on both. And in fact, here, the subject is just the role of children's toys in their development. Now, in this case, they're pretty opposite in each passage's respective view, but it won't always be opposite. Sometimes it's just a different uh, version or, or a different theory. So they won't always be contrasting, but it's definitely going to be the same subject. So passage one, and he he's pretty academic. He says when children are first born, they know nothing of the world beyond themselves and then presented with rattles and dolls and dolls. <laughs> and it's a vital role to reduce a complex universe of human culture to terms they can appreciate. And he believes that the toys furnish a playground where rehearsals for reality can proceed without constraint or self-consciousness, allowing children an opportunity to exercise their inherent capabilities for learning and assimilation. So this is really kind of an academic, stodgy perspective. And his theory is that children's toys are really vital for development. That's remember the subject's the same. Now let's answer look at passage two and his point of view. It's pretty opposite. So he says that some have gone so far to claim that toys are critical to teaching children about their cultures, maintaining without toys, children have a difficulty adjusting to the ways of the world. He's referring really to one. And then he says, hogwash. Children play with toys to have fun, not to create some type of cultural microcosm. So he's saying they just use the toys for fun. So I think it's a good technique to get in the habit of just doing this, and then you can answer the questions. But question nine, you're not going to see this. This is really a pretty straightforward question. If you ever see a question like this on the short duel where both passages are concerned with, this is not talking about the different perspectives. This is simply talking about the subject. And the subject, we already said, it's really the role of children's toys. Even though they differ in, in the contrast, really quite strikingly, the role is the same. And so the answer simply is B, the role of children's toys in their lives. So this was not that hard of a question, but I really want you to have the habit of coming up with a descriptive viewpoint of each one on the dual passage. It'll make answering the questions much easier. All right, the answer here is B. See you next time. Thanks for watching.